Hello everybody, and welcome back to PowerPoint and Click for episode four? Four. We're gonna say four, and we'll go with that. Uh, so, we have beaten the Swordmaster of Melee Island, and we have found the secret treasure of Melee Island. And now we have to go steal the Idol of Many Hands. And that is at the Governor's Mansion. Uh, no, I don't want you to pick anything up. Um, let's see, her place is this way. All the way back through town, of course. Okay. I don't think I can get past them. I'm not going near them. So, I remember I got stuck here when I was a kid and I couldn't figure out what to do and I don't I don't remember what would have told me that I have to do this. It's a striking yellow color. Because I can't think of any reason. Well, um, can't, yeah, I can't remember of anything that tells me what I have to do to get past them. Maybe I looked it up when I was a kid. But what we have to do is use the dandelions and the stewed meat. So we're basically spiking the meat. Give that to them. Oop. Uh, give. Important notice. These dogs are not dead. They are only sleeping. No animals were harmed during the production of this game. And again, I have no idea what tells me that I'm supposed to do that. I can't remember how I learned that. I just still remember it. So, here we are. In the fancy governor's mansion. Let's go in here. This looks like a job for Fester Shine Top. This is one of my favorite parts of the whole game. No! Not the red button! It's a big, ugly, hairy yak wearing some wax lips. I can't move it. I can't move it. I'll need this. I must be nuts. The heck? Gophers!
It's beautiful. I can't open it. Uh oh. should hold him for a while if only i had a file i could get the idol okay so that is like i said that is easily my favorite part um i think the pacing's a little faster than the old one though because that was a little slow still good though so we have a bunch of random crap in our inventory now uh the staple remover the manual of style wax lips and gopher repellent and in fact look at I think it's some kind of religious text. They're yak-sized and covered with slobber. I'm certainly not going to chew on them. They're sleeping peacefully. So we need a file. And I know just the dude with one. Gotta get me out of here! I'm a victim of society! Not to mention halitosis. Ugh. Hey, it's hard to keep my breath minty fresh when there's nothing to eat in here but rats. Let's. Oh! Uh, I don't have any mints. Let's go fix that. Where'd you go? I hike halfway across the island to try and get you a reservation with the Swordmaster, who, by yeah, the yeah. way, says you can go jump in the lake. And when I come back, whew, you're gone. See if I ever do you a favor again. What do you want? I could really use a breath mint. Whew, you're telling me. Here, take one. Please. Take the whole roll. That'll be one piece of eight. What else do you want? So I'm so used to... Um, do I have files? What? Oh, yeah. Do you have files? I was thinking computer files. Do you mean hanging files or nail files? Just see what no, he says. No, the metal kind you used to open locks with? Ah. Sorry, okay. Anyhow, I'm so used to uh, King's Quest. Uh, King's Quest 5, I think I'd just like to 6 maybe? Where he plays Alexander. And um, in one of the shops, there's a little bowl of mints right there. So I was thinking that that's where they were going to be. It's kind of weird that both of these games, you have to use mints. Very weird. Alright, let's give this to prisoner oh grago mint how refreshing thanks so have you come to release me who are you my name is Ores at least I think it is I've been in here so long I can hardly remember you gotta get me out of here before I lose my mind completely! Can't you see? I'm innocent! But why are you in jail if you're innocent? I was framed! I didn't touch the stupid flowers! What flowers? The jello conish in dormi flowers in the forest. It's against the law to pick them. Oh, maybe that's where I learned what to do with them. Um. Would you happen to have a file? You think I'd be in here if I did? All I have is this carrot cake my Aunt Tilly made me. You can have that if you bring me something to get rid of these rats! 
I can't stand carrot cake. Uh, give. Go for a pellant. Otis. Hey, these might work on the rats. Thanks. Here's the cake. And then. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's do open. And of course, there was a file in there. Irony of ironies. Back to the mansion. I think we're about halfway through chapter one. Oops, don't close it. I've got the file. That was a close one. At least I got the idol. But I'm not done with you yet. Uh-oh. Thought you could get out of here with the idol of many hands, did you? Look, I can explain. So can I. You poisoned the governor's pet poodles. They're just sleeping. Broke into her house. The door was unlocked. And stole one of her most valuable pieces of art. No, you've got it all wrong. Oh, really? Well, let's hear your explanation. It belongs in a museum. <laughs> ah! What's going on here? The governor. I caught this hoodlum making off with your idol, governor. He says it belongs in a museum. That's right, it does. What? You heard me, Fester. The real question is, how did he get in here while you were on guard? I, uh... Oh, just go away, Fester. I can handle this. Hmm. I'll deal with you later. Sorry about him. He's new. I'm Governor Marley. Governor Elaine Marley. So my idol belongs in a museum, eh? Well... Relax, Mr. Threepwood. I know why you're here. Believe me, you're not the first who's tried. Although I have to admit, not many get as far as you have. Oh. Uh... My lookout told me of your arrival. I've wanted to meet you ever since I heard your fascinating name. Tell me, Guybrush, why do you want to be a pirate? You don't look like one. Your face is too... sweet. Girl. I see. Well, you're obviously not in the mood for idle chit-chat, are you? I suppose you've got many more exciting things to do? I won't take up any more of your time, Mr. Threepwood. <sighs> I really wish I knew how to talk to women. Just realized real quick. Save. Haven't done that in a little while. There we go. Okay. So that was the governor. 
she ends up becoming your plunder bunny. Where do you think you're going, Froom Wade? You know, it's not too late for us to make up and be friends. Yeah. And it's also not too late for me to kill you and still make it to the bar for happy hour. Hand over your sword. Uh-oh. This is the end of the road, my little pantalooned pal. Your troublemaking days on Melee Island are over. My plans for the governor are far too important and much too near completion to risk letting a would-be pirate like you get in the way. So long, Mr. Spice Cake or Droop Face or whatever your name is. Ah! Hmm. This might actually turn out to be a pretty good day. Okay. So, in Lucas Arts games, their philosophy is or was making point and click games where there was no way where you could kill yourself or, or get yourself killed or get stuck in a position where you'd have to start the game over again. King's Quest games are famous for uh, you know, obviously their deaths, and then you could just screw up and not get an item or something like that, and then you'd have to restart your game from a save point if you had it, or if not, you were screwed. So this is the only time in Secret of Monkey Island where you can die. So Guybrush has said previously that he can hold his breath for 10 minutes, and that is correct. Um, I could sit here for 10 minutes, and then at the end of it he would drown, and I think I'll add that in at the end uh, for fun. But for right now, I'm just going to uh, get out of here normally. So we see a hacksaw, rusty knife, meat cleaver, razor sharp scissors, a sword, and an axe. And unfortunately, they're all too far away. I can't reach that from here. So, instead, actually, it's more like a fabulous doorstop. Because Shine Top is not very smart, we'll just pick it up. I guess I'll be needing a sword. This one will do. Easy as pie. As a kid, I couldn't figure that out for a little bit. I was six. Stop judging me. What was that? I'm so confused. Hey! What are you doing just standing around? The governor's been kidnapped! What? By whom? LeChuck's got her on that ship that just sailed off. He caught her alone when she came down here to rescue you. Well, I'm afraid we've seen the last of her. So where were you this whole time? Sleeping? Hey, I'm a lookout, not a bodyguard. I'll go get a crew in a ship and go rescue her. That's not gonna be easy, you know. LeChuck's taken the governor back to his hideout on Monkey Island. I'm afraid that no pirate on this island is brave enough to follow him there. But hey, good luck. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, they left this note. You can have it, but I don't think you'll like what it says. Oh, governor. Why did you have to risk your life for me? Maybe you cared for me more than I thought. Just as I now realize how much I care for you. Now it's my fault the governor's in this mess, and I swear I'll get her out of it, even if I have to sail to Monkey Island myself to get her. I'm not really sure how it's his fault, though. Uh, well, I guess you don't know something yet, so I'll wait. Um, look at... here we go. Attention Pirates of Melee. Your governor is alive and well and by my side as she was always meant to be. If you try to find us, you will only meet with horrifying disaster. Yours truly, Captain LeChuck. So now we need a crew. Everybody's gone. Looks like a fine pewter tankard.
Where are all the pirates? Oh, they're all up looting the governor's mansion. The governor is gone. LeChuck and his spectral crew came and got her. They put her in the ghost ship and spirited her away. She was so good to me. Always conveniently losing those health board reports. For a small consideration, of course. What'll become of my business? Oh, woe is me. Okay. What can oh. I do to save her? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You must go oh, okay. after her. The ghost pirate oh, yeah. is on Monkey Island. Everybody DM. knows that. Don't ask me how. All you need to do is find a way there. Will you join me? Uh, alas, I cannot go to sea. An old war injury. I'm sure you understand. Where can I get a ship? Why, it's Smiling Stan's used shipyard. Same as everybody else. Tell them I sent you. We're old friends. Right. I'm off. Good luck. Be sure to wear your mittens. And your galoshes. And don't forget to write. Bye now. Okay. So I'm not sure how it's Guybrush's fault because LeChuck was going to take her regardless. So that doesn't really make a lot of sense. Can I pick that up? It's some sort of meat or Do I need that again? Substance. Oh, just in case. Ow! Okay. Got it. Um, use pewter mug with barrel. This stuff is eating right through the. So mug. this is the grog. <laughs> if you notice in the bottom right, my. Pewter mug is already starting to disintegrate. So I have to transfer it from mug to mug. In fact, why don't I use this with that? I'm gonna use it to eat through the lock on that jail cell to get. What's his name? Otis, that's his name. To get him out. Use Peter Mog. Yeah, this one. Oh, that didn't work. There we go. Just to make sure. A drink! I'm real thirsty. Yikes! Wow! And to think I used to drink that stuff. I'm free! Oh yeah, thanks. If there's anything I can ever do for you. Well, actually, there is something. I'm looking for brave people to join my crew and sail off to Monkey Island with me to rescue the governor. She's been abducted by the fearsome pirate LeChuck and is being held against her will somewhere in his secret hideout. I see. Well, Jess, hmm. LeChuck, you say? Well, Jess? Yes, of course. We must sail to Monkey Island and... <gasps> hey, look behind you! I three had a monkey! I can't believe I fell for that. Pretty good trick, though. Okay. So Otis should show up later. Oh, here we go. Meanwhile... 
Having just returned from melee, LeChuck and his crew find their old hiding place in the underground rivers of Monkey Island and drop anchor. Captain, sir, I just stopped by to congratulate you on your kidnapping mission. Captain? Captain, are you all right? Never felt better. And how fares our prisoner? Ah, yes, the, uh, prisoner. <laughs> we had a little... trouble. Trouble! No, 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 nothing to worry about, sir. Everything's under control. She escaped a few times, but we've got her locked up in the brig. No one's getting in or out of there. For your sake, I hope not. With years of planning almost destroyed by my death, I'm not taking any chances now. You took care of Mr. Threepwood then? Guy Brush Threepwood will not be a problem. At this very moment, he's 20 feet underwater. Probably bloated up like a fattened pig. His eyes being eaten out by crabs. Fish pecking at his fingers. Kinda makes you wish you were there to watch. Ah, yes sir. Ugh. Sure does it that. Now, go check on the route. Make sure it's locked up tight. Aye, aye, Captain. So the guy who voices the, the first mate, he sounds a lot like the voice actor for um, Yakko from the Animaniacs. I just realized that. I wonder, what, I, yeah, I wonder if it is the same person. Alright, well I think this is as good a place as any to stop. So we still have a, a couple more people we need to recruit for our ship, and then we need to get a ship. And then we'll be on the seas and off to Monkey Island. Thanks everybody for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friends, tell your fram- family? Your family, I guess. Your family. Thank you so much. This is the end of the road, my little pantalooned pal. Your troublemaking days on Melee Island are over. My plans for the governor are far too important and much too near completion to risk letting a would-be pirate like you get in the way. So long, Mr. Spice Cake or Droop Face or whatever your name is. Ah! Hmm. This might actually turn out to be a pretty good day. Hey, Nick. I just committed a felony. Did it involve that big knife you've got there? <laughs> yeah. What should I do with it? Well, get rid of it. I'll throw it in the water. No, don't do that. Why not? I need to ditch it. It might wash up somewhere. What do I care? My prints won't be on it. I'm throwing it in. Eh, I might need it. See ya. See ya. much longer I can hold my breath.
I can hold my breath for 10 minutes. Liar.